a fan of F1 racing? Well, a few Father Merck students are working on a top secret F1 car, which they'll take to this year's F1 in Schools race in Brooklyn, Michigan. The kids right now are involved in the F1 in Schools project. So the project is a comprehensive design challenge and engineering project that they're working on to uh, take part in a national competition, and hopefully later on if we do well enough in the world competition in the F1 in Schools program. The goal for the students is to build a raceable nice. F1 car, which Rapping is powered by a small punctured CO2 cartridge. But the car is far more than just CO2, spray paint, and random decals. There's a lot of technical requirements that go towards building the car, and so the kids have to pay close attention to detail in meeting those requirements. Uh, we're talking within 0.4 millimeters uh, of clearance in some, in some circumstances. In order to make sure the car is flawless, the teams use a 3D technical program in the design process. Before the designing and choosing what to put on it, we just drew it on a piece of paper and used a ruler to make sure there's the right size. To get an idea, we drew it from the top view and the side view. We use a program called SolidWorks, which is a computer-aided design program, which allows us to build multiple parts and move them together, which will hopefully be our final car. This and that has been corrected for. The cars are made of balsa wood and weigh as much as a chocolate bar and are designed to reach speeds of over 60 kilometers an hour. Because of the high speeds, the races are over within seconds. This means that the drivers must be quick on the trigger, so training is very important. The driver's job is to like launch the car down the racetrack when all the five lights go off, like the board. We usually we have the actual setup to launch the car, so we sit down and just measure our reaction times without actually launching the car. Like there's a trigger, or like a plunger, I guess would be more correct. And we just watch all the lights, and when they go off, we just press the button as fast as we can. Well, the actual race isn't really that long. It's at most like a second, or like a little bit over a second at most. So really, if you blink, you might miss it. So I guess if you think about it, it's pretty important what you do in like those thousands of a second. If all goes as planned, the teams will travel to the World Championships for a huge prize. Once the car is raced at the national level, if we place in the top two, uh, they'll be invited to attend the Worlds competition. Uh, the winning team at Worlds, each member of the winning team at Worlds receives a $1.5 million engineering scholarship. So it's a very prestigious uh, event to go to if we manage to make the Worlds. With a prize like that, you can clearly see exactly why this team would want to keep their car a secret. For Shaw TV, I'm Craig Momney.